Are you ready to make your first YouTube video but you're stuck on how to get started? Does the thought of scripting your video feel overwhelming? Don't worry, you're in luck, you're not alone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to script your first YouTube video step by step. When I first started my YouTube journey, the idea of scripting a video felt daunting. I remember sitting down with a blank page wondering where to begin. But what I quickly learned is that a good script is like a roadmap. It guides your video from start to finish, keeping you on track and ensuring your message is clear. When I mention about roadmap, think about it like if you're going on a road trip uh, if you're a vlogging channel for example you may want to start off with showing that you're packing your things or putting your things inside of a trunk right you want to guide your audience from the beginning to the end don't just go to the beginning and jump straight to the end there's there's a lot of layers in between that that happen events that you know you want to pull out and and put it into all in one video and make it organically structured in a way where your audience can follow so that's why i'm here today to share the exact process i use to script my videos so you can avoid being overwhelmed and focus on creating content that resonate with your audience so let's go over step one you gotta start off with a strong hook the first 10 to 15 seconds of your video are crucial they're your chance to grab your viewer attention and make them want to keep watching ask a question share a surprising fact or a promise to solve a problem whatever you do make sure it's compelling what do i mean by starting off with a hook you know start off with using a question or a surprising fact or a promise to solve a problem for your audience for example in this video i use the question are you ready to make your first youtube video but you're stuck on how to get started the second example does the thought of scripting a video feel overwhelming so those are the two examples that i use in in this hook in this video step number two introduce yourself and the topic once you've hooked your audience it's time to let them know who you are and what your video is about this is also a great opportunity to share a brief story like how you overcame a challenge related to the topic for example my name is philip and on this channel we're currently on the challenge to making 30 videos in 30 days to help you create your own youtube channel so that's how you go about introducing yourself and then also like a topic that you're trying to focus on in your video share a brief story about what you've gone through as far as the topic hand so like the topic right now is how to write your first youtube script so when i first started writing the my first youtube script i didn't know where to start first off and of course like any type of person you know you you go through watching youtube videos this and that but i felt like there wasn't an an, an in-depth explanation on how to you know write a hook how to grab your audience attention uh, how do you uh, like write a script from start to finish similar to how I said like how you should do your videos like a roadmap right I felt like there wasn't a roadmap on how to script your videos this is why I wanted to talk about the seven steps there's gonna be a future video like going more in depth what softwares I use that makes it more uh, productive and efficient and it doesn't take long to do. I literally use this tool to really help me get through this whole 30 videos in 30 days challenge. So, but I don't have time to go in depth because it's gonna involve a lot of editing. But if you want to see that in depth video, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and you'll see in future content of how I go in depth and what tools I use. All right, step number three is to outline the key points you want to cover. Think of this as the main body of your video. Each point should build on the last, guiding your audience through the topic. Be clear and concise, and make sure each point adds value to your viewers. So what I mean about this is, even now, when I'm doing this video, I have an outline, right? I just, I, I look at that outline, it helps me stay on topic. And, but how do you go about creating the outline? Again, a lot of it has to do with, even for myself, I don't, I don't, I don't have great writing skills, right? That's probably one of the reasons why I didn't go to college is because, yeah, it's a long story. But the point is, use tools that you can you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the answer. 
honestly I use ChatGPT and I could go in depth into it right now but I'm telling you it's gonna take a lot of edits I, I won't finish it in a day um, but yeah that's I'll just throw it out there ChatGPT it really helps out because think about it um, what happened what for example I'm gonna say so I would put out exactly the points that I want to talk about I will put that outline into ChatGPT now here's the secret I, I won't release this yet but you have to know how to do AI prompts AI prompts is meaning you you need to know exactly what to tell the AI what to do in order to um, in order for them to understand what you're trying to trying to accomplish right and a part of that is knowing how to prompt and I believe the industry is gonna grow because it's a skill is a is a skill that many people don't have yet and because ChatGPT is new AI technology is new and so I've actually set up a whole list of AI prompts that I've saved that really helped me be more efficient and creating videos that's a perfect example of step number four add personal insights or examples this is where you can really connect with your audience share your own experience or insights related to the topic people love hearing real stories because it makes the content more relatable and engaging so if I just if I just you know read off the script right word for word and not even share like a full example of how it's applicable in my own life and these are steps that I personally use this is why I'm sharing them these aren't steps that you know chat TPT came up with these ideas no it's just a matter of you come up with the ideas and sometimes your grammar is not perfect correct so you just send out those ideas to chat TPT they kind of have an idea of what you want to do with the idea and then they actually make it sound proper English because you know as far as talking pop, proper English you know I, I struggle with that to be honest right and so that was a perfect example that I brought up about you know using chat GPT as helping you write out your script now I'm not telling you again I'm not telling you that chat GPT write out the whole script for you you're putting in input and then chat, I, the AI will collect that data and then write out the script all right so it's important knowing how to write out prompts that's a bonus tip I really wanted to save that for a future video but because I had to use a real life example you know bonus value to you so again if you want to stay up to date on how to create a YouTube channel hit that like button subscribe and you'll be able to see future videos on how I go in depth on my computer and show you guys how to prompt how to how to work with AI and things like that these are exciting videos that I have upcoming in the future so I'm looking forward to that and so that's a perfect example of let's move on to step number five include a call to action so in the middle of your video you want to I would suggest this on either your three minute or four minute mark of your video um, the reason why is because you want to start off the video providing content and value to your audience you know I'm gonna turn off the fan it's gonna be hot but <sighs> things I suffer for you guys so you don't hear 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 the fan noise so like I was saying on a three minute or four minute mark you want to be able to put a call to action just like I just did a perfect example of what I just did earlier right you want to tell your audience what your channel is about get them to 
watch a particular video like click this video right here if you would like to start learning about what storage unit I use and how to set it up which is the DS223J you can click the video here that's a call to action so whether it's asking viewers to like and subscribe comment with their thoughts or watch another video your call to action should be specific and easy to follow don't leave your audience hanging guide them on what to do next step number six plan a strong conclusion just like your introduction your conclusion should be memorable summarize key points you cover and reinforce the main takeaways this is also where you should include a clear call to action what do you want your viewers to do next? Same way you go about doing your introduction is the same thing you want to do with your conclusion. You know, you don't want to leave your audience hanging and you want to conclude in a strong way, whether it's doing a call to action, like I mentioned in step five, click here on this next video, whatever it may be, there's gotta be something that you wanna tell your audience to do because you're providing value, right? And people want to support your channel if you're providing value to them you know it's like in a business you provide good service right and so they continue to purchase your product or continue to use your service it's the same thing with youtube man if you're constantly giving values up front before asking them to subscribe or like that 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 makes it feel more organic more natural because you're from the beginning you're you're all about your audience in the beginning it's not about you and that's the thing about YouTube like I'm starting to get to a point where I'm understanding more and more and it, it takes time guys to develop this it is it's no longer about you as a person but it's more about what your audience can get value from and how you can help them in their daily life personally I'm a Christian one thing is about being Christian is about learning how to to serve other people, right? And that's where the direction of this channel is going, right? My mindset is, is how can I serve other people, right? It's not about serving myself or edifying myself, but it's about serving others. And how can I help make their life more easier? And I believe that a lot of what's going on today is Let's be real, inflation is going on, people are struggling. Some people are working two to three jobs, right? I hear in my circle, I hear what's going on, I read the news, I see what's going on. And you know, you have people that's trying to cover up the fact that we are going through inflation. People are struggling pay paying for groceries. And I think that YouTube is a perfect outlet right to make a little side income but it takes time right so the thing is while you're going through the struggle why not use it as content show people that how are you going about uh, with the grocery prices so high gas prices so high show people how you're going about it like now I have to go do two job let people see your struggle man people want to see authentic content right now and this is the perfect time to do it because right now YouTube are promoting videos that are not edited. And this is what I'm struggling with, but it's who you are as a person and it's okay to show, you know, your weakness. And finally, step number seven is review and edit your script. Once you've written out everything down, take some time to go over it, make sure it flows well, cut out any unnecessary information. A well-polished script will make your filming process smoother and your video more professional. Even in my previous video about scripting, it does help you as a person to stay on topic. A lot of times we like to get off topic, talk about other things, but when we are just focusing on how to write a script, and the seven steps it really helps your mind to stay focused on that topic at hand when you're going over your script and then you see things that are not on topic you can just knock it out that way when you start recording or producing your video and actually you know start communicating what is on your script then you're more prepared it, there's an actual flow to it and then it'll help you stay on topic like i mentioned a thousand times 
So there you have it, seven steps to scripting your first YouTube video. Remember, a good script doesn't have to be complicated. It's all about having a clear plan that helps you deliver your message effectively. If you're ready to take the next step in your YouTube journey, don't stop here. Click here to watch my next video on understanding your why, the motivation behind your channel, knowing your why is crucial for long-term success, and it will give you the clarity and drive you need to keep going. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.